And joining us now is Amara Chaudhry. Uh, she's with the Council on American Islamic Relations. Uh, Amara, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Mike. Now, the younger suspect's Facebook page says he's a Muslim. What's your reaction knowing that he and his brother have ties to Islam? Well, Vi, at this moment in time, I do believe that we know that both brothers do identify, self-identify as Muslim. At this point in the investigation, my understanding is authorities are still not clear on a motive, and it is not clear whether they committed these acts because they're Muslim uh, and whether there's any correlation between their Muslim identity and the fact that they chose to commit these acts. Amar, are you, are you particularly concerned about the Muslim faith being associated with an, another terrorist plot here? Truth be told, Vi, I believe that I speak on behalf of all Muslims that as a community we are less concerned with our own safety and more concerned about the safety of the people of Boston. And we hope that they are well and we're sorry for the tragedy that happened to them. Uh, still, uh, within the Muslim community, I, I'm sure there's got to be concern about your safety, even though you, you mentioned uh, and admit that you're not as concerned about your own as others, but uh, there's got to be some concern, especially when you have little ones uh, and, and kids going to school and the kinds of things that may happen to them. There is some concern about a backlash, and I do know that as an organization we have distributed information to our community as to what to do if they do feel as though that they're in danger, but truth be told, I do not believe this is our primary concern at this time, and we haven't uh, seen or heard any threats being aimed towards our community here, at least in the Philadelphia area. Amara Chandri with the Council on American Islamic Relations. We thank you for your time and for joining us.